Hi friends! Welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, day 18. What? Um, let's start off by looking at the ink for day 17. Robert Oster, Oster, I don't know, Deep Sea. I had that in my Wall Town Pins Lumley. Let's look at this dried splat. It is beautiful. You can see actually in the very heavy areas, um, it has some red sheen. I don't think that really shows up too much in the writing unless the pen is super juicy. Um, I'll be honest, after the previous day's ink, it was really nice to have an ink that was so well behaved. It was just easy. I didn't have to think about it. It wasn't getting in my way, et cetera, et cetera. I loved it. Now, enough of that. Let's move on to the new thing. So we type, type, type over here off screen where you can't see me. Don't, I'm not like hiding it from you. Um, so, Oh, today's number is one. Ho, 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 Very excited about today's ink. I'm going to dig around and find it, and uh, it's going to be exciting. Phew. I just ran all over the house because um, I didn't see the ink the first time I looked. But today's ink, in case you saw it sitting there, is... Jacques Herbon, Violet Imperial, or Violet Imperial. I'll just say that because it's not spelled Violet Imperial. So I'm pretty stoked about this one. Let's find a pen. Um, I think I know what I'm using because it's purple. And what? Do we have a purple pen that we like to put shimmer inks in? I think we do. I think we do, my friends. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit excited because I was just like playing a video game with my friends. Um, gosh, stop it, Maria. Sorry, I kept running into the, chair, to the desk with my chair. So we're going to put it in this twist piece. I need to chill. So I burned my finger really bad. Well, not really bad. I don't know. Can you see this? <laughs> I set the iron on it. Did I mention that before? I think I did. And I think I said I wasn't going to show you. And yet here we are. Um, it's fine. It doesn't hurt today. Yesterday I put Neosporin with pain relief on it. Uh, not sponsored. Not sponsored. Um... All opinions are my own. So we're shaking this. We're shaking this. I'm really excited about this. I wish that this was not gold. But it doesn't... It almost looks beige on here and like less goldy than gold normally looks. So... Um... Oh. Also we need a syringe. Which we have right here. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to like, and now, y'all, wait, y'all, I filled a pen through the nib. I mean, not very full, but like, it's still, it happened for me. It happened for me. Oh my gosh, that's really exciting. I thought maybe that it was a thing that I just wasn't able to like do anymore. But here we are. I put the pen in the ink and now there is ink in the pen. Exciting. I'm sure you share in my excitement. So now we're going to like Try and like soak up extra ink around the nib. And not bringing up anything. So we'll do our 
chromatography. Who, you love that sound, right? Um, here is the water. Here are the sque squeezies. There are pin curl holders. There, it's going. Great, great. Scoot the chair over. And say 30 inks, 30 days, November 2022, day 18. Oh, the chromatography is looking funky. Ink. Jarbon. 1670 Violet Imperial Pen Twisby Eco Transparent Purple B Oh then do some of these. Cool, 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 cool. Love it. The ink is like thick on there. Oh yeah. Okay, now let's look at this. Here's a chromatography. So I must have laid it down thicker at either end. And like that part didn't have as much ink. I love it. It looks like Honestly, it looks like the elevation map of when I go on walks <laughs> in this area because I start off walking downhill and then I turn around and have to walk back uphill to get home. Uh, and that is how walking works. Thanks, Maria. A little, And I love how the shimmer gets left behind. So we'll see that more tomorrow. We're hanging it up to dry to think about what it's done. Um, I'm going to look at this because this is pretty much dry. You know what? I just placed an order with a place overseas that has a lower price on these inks and I didn't buy this one and I already regret it. Why? Why wouldn't I just get it? Maybe I did. Maybe I did and it'll get here and I'll be like, oh, I did order it. Oh, what a great surprise. But I don't. It's okay. I didn't need anything that I bought. Um, by the way, I did get the watch. Look at it. With the dials on this side. So the watch face is flipped. It, I almost cried. Like, I felt so supported and seen. In a way that I never do is like for my left-handedness. Anyway, I want to, I want to get more splats. I love it. No, it's fine. We don't need more splats. We want more splats. Do you want more splats? Should I have splatted more? I'm not going to. Let me know in the comments. Should I have splatted more? I mean, if you feel like putting stuff in the comments, please. And you feel like commenting on that, I would love it. That's what I'm trying to say. You should do what you feel like, and I would appreciate said thing. Um, okay. Wow. Wow. Um, so, I'm so looking forward to using this combination. Yay! So again, for day 18, we have Jacques Herbon Violet Imperial, which Violet Imperial, in my Twisby Transparent Purple with a broad nib. Um, I think everyone would probably wonder how does this look compared to Amethyst de, de Laurel. Did I use that one ever?
Maybe, maybe, maybe. No. Well, this is lighter. That's how it compares. This one's lighter. Solved. Um, <laughs> I gotta eat some food. Um, thank you for hanging out with me as we look at today's ink. Uh, what do you think? What do, what are your feelings on purple? And if you like purple, how does this one compare? And also, what a good match, right? Let me know your thoughts. Let me hear from you, just about whatever. Why don't you tell me, if it was too late to be eating, but you were still like, I think I should probably eat, what would you eat? Um, I hope when you're watching this, you're having a great day. Thanks. Bye.